Hi guys, how we doing? So, this guy's had a chance to dry after yesterday. Um, we're going to add a few more details to him today. Uh, well, if I can convince my paint to come out here. So we're going to start with adding the white here and kind of play it by ear and go different, see where we go with different things. I don't have a solid plan for this guy. It's just been kind of going with whatever my mind takes me to do with him. You don't always get that opportunity, so you got to take it when you do. Bring in a little something to thicken up this white. Also, don't think this brush is going to work for it. Let's see. You're going to hear some funny noises here for a second. So the white paint that I have is not quite thick enough for what I need to accomplish. So I'm actually going to use a cheat that I've used many, 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 many times before, which is to add just a little touch of my primer into it. So the crazy noises you hear right now are me mixing up and opening my primer. <clears throat> which obviously takes a little doing. And the reason I'm mixing it with the regular paint instead of just using the primer is the primer has a completely matte finish. And obviously that doesn't work well with everything else being a little bit shiny. So it's kind of got to get mixed in. But it is a much, much uh, more opaque white than a lot of your craft paints and a lot of your acrylics. White paint can be really very tricky. For one thing, there are way more shades than there ought to be for something as simple as white. But it can be very hard to get it to, to be... A nice sheer or a nice opaque white instead of being super sheer and so I just have to turn him to me for just a minute here also gonna do I think I don't think we're gonna go under the eyes with the white but I think we will come back here and just kind of add <clears throat> a little bit of detail with it and I'm not as worried about it being quite as opaque back here 
that's less of a defining feature and more of a detail once we bring it back here. But I think we're going to come around this black. We're just basically using it to soften up some of these areas a little bit and kind of give them a unique look. And I'm kind of okay with it having a little bit of a... Um, A little bit of the other colors showing through once we go back here. And I think I'm going to give him a white foot. Because why not? That's something you see on a pretty regular basis as dogs with a white foot or even a couple of feet that are white. And I think we can actually just now we're just kind of having fun with it adding a few extra details so that the little bit of white on the face doesn't look super odd and we do need to come up under here because we don't want that just the matte white of his primer coat. So I'm probably not going to have time to do much of a video tomorrow. I might pop up a short or throw on one of the goodies that I'm in the process of I'm going to be in the process of making and those are Easter goodies for my family gathering on Sunday. I'm doing a large amount of the desserts. My daughter and I are each bringing a couple while my mom's making the dinner and the sides. I had hoped to make it to the store today to get the couple of things that I still have needed, but I think it's going to end up being later on. So I'm not going to have a chance to start the process today. Which means I'm going to be a busy little bee tomorrow. Which I'm okay with. I think we're going to feather this out just a little. And just give him a little... Something to kind of soften that line we've got going there. Doesn't need to be a lot, just kind of softening back basically into that darker brown. Loving that effect. Let's soften it up a little bit more, huh? It's one good thing when you're dealing with something very textured is you can just soften with your hands. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more what I had in mind. It was just a little bit too stark right here. And that's why you saw me going over it like that. But I think that's what we're going to do with the white for today. 
I think I do need to mix up a little bit more of that brown and touch up those feet. Maybe bring his chest in just a little bit. So, thankfully I have my colors for that very, very handy. He's really getting very close to done at this point. I just have to pick up the, the beads for his eyes and get them painted in. And as I said, I want to go back with that brown a little bit. Well, I couldn't repeat that again to save my life. My uh, paint just spit all the way from where I was doing it onto my air conditioner, which is kind of funny, but we don't waste good paint, so that's got to come off of there. It is a shame that didn't. I don't know that I was far enough over for you guys to actually see that happen, but hopefully you at least heard the adorable little pop noise it made. Because that was actually pretty funny. There we go. And the great thing with doing something like dog fur is your colors don't have to match 100% per perfectly because they do have different areas that's, that are just a little bit different. And I actually want it to mix with that white just a little tiny bit. We're not trying to go nuts. We're just kind of defining the space a little bit. I'm kind of fixing some of these spots that I missed before, like right there. And I've said it a few times, sometimes that's the hard part about not being able to see from the point of view that I'm showing you guys. That and sometimes chasing down my paint on this thing can be a little fun. There we go. Let's touch them paws up a bit. That looks a little more believable, doesn't it? Now we're just adding a few details to my table and kind of coming in and trying to fill up any of these little oddball spots that I missed yesterday. And if I sound a little funky, I do apologize. The weather being all over the place has really just played havoc on my allergies. So, like pretty much everyone else who lives in any southern or midwestern state this time of year, I am sneezing, coughing, and generally just having a super fun time. The pollen counts aren't up than the mold counts are and I'm allergic to both of them so I get to have super fun times. I'm 
and that's just a little bit more of fixing oddball spots up here. And if you can hear in the background, Sweetie Pie has decided to be in a good mood today. The birds are watching one of their favorite movies again, which makes them usually pretty peaceful. I think since I missed this whole little spot here, we're going to come up under here. And we're just going to give him a little brown foot. And this is the stuff that's just kind of fun, is just finding that, those little details that we can add that are just kind of cutesy and fun. And I've always gotten a kick out of seeing the dogs with the little, just look like the, they t dipped the tip of their foot in paint or something. That little half sock. So I think this is where we're going to stop for today. As I said, I don't have a crazy lot of time to work with for the next couple of days, but we can at least get a few things done here and there. So that's where he's sitting for the moment. And I may come in with other colors and soften that nose a little bit. I don't know yet. But I think he's coming along nicely. And I'm definitely a fan. But as I said, we're going to stop there for today. And I will talk to you guys next time.